Hey everyone, I bought the uh, new Power Rangers Unlimited number one, number two. Yeah, I don't get what the numbering system is. Here's the uh, first one, which was about Astronema. It says number one, and then this one also says number one. Okay, I guess, uh, oh, there's the difference. Air to darkness and edge of darkness. So we're gonna get more number ones that are some things of darkness, so uh, whatever. Anyway, this was, uh, hyped up as revealing a lot about the Phantom Ranger. We're gonna learn a lot about the Phantom Ranger in this. We don't, really. <laughs> There's a little bit of the, like, he's in the story, he's a major character, but we don't really learn that much about him. There's, like, maybe two things majorly that uh, we learn about him, but they're not really, like, big shocking revelations or anything. It's just kind of, oh, okay, that makes sense. Anyway, most of the comic is actually about uh, little Rita and uh, especially her mother, Fienna. Oh, yeah, that little girl there, that's supposed to be little Rita Repulsa. <laughs> now, this was set up, I believe, in the Go Go Power Ranger comics. They mentioned that, uh, or they, that was where they introduced her mother, I think, and uh, Rita and her mother are rescued by Tangas, or from Tangas by the Phantom Ranger. I don't read the main comics, so I don't know for sure if that's the story, but anyway, that's I, I'm pretty sure, because I know they've been introduced previously, and this is like just uh, elaborating and detailing that particular uh, part of the story. Anyway, uh, in the main comic, let's see, uh, it starts off with Phantom Ranger is going to different planets looking for Imperials. I don't have any idea what that is. I'm assuming it's something from the other comics. Anyway, he's reporting to Zordon about, uh, he's gotten to the last planet where Imperials were, uh, reported, or active, or whatever. Anyway, there's a little note at the beginning that says, See Power Rangers number 8 for details or something. And I thought that was kind of weird, because, uh, isn't Power Rangers number 8, like, the recent comic? Does it... Does it even tie into this? I thought the the Power Rangers comic, not Mighty Morphin, not Go Go, not Mighty Morphin, uh, by itself the new series, the the just Power Rangers without Mighty Morphin in, in the title. I thought that was supposed to be about uh, Jason, Zack, and Trini as the Omega Rangers doing something. I don't know. Maybe it ties into this again. I don't read the main comics. I'll read spinoff specials and all that stuff, but. Yeah, so I'm just reading this. I don't have that much background knowledge on the rest of the comics because the comics just never were all that interesting to me. Uh, I started reading them, and they were okay. I could never really get into them, though, and I just kind of dropped off, and I don't care. Anyway, uh, let's see. So anyway, that's the first thing we learned about Phantom Ranger, is it? Well, he's uh, with Zordon. Not that big of a revelation since he is a Power Ranger. Kind of, sort of, whatever. So that's not really that big of a thing. Anyway, uh, let's see. Rita and her mom are on this planet that he goes to. They're attacked by Tangas. And, uh, oh, one of the cool things is there's a Tanga shaman. Like, some kind of religious leader Tanga. Which is really cool, and I'm wondering uh, where that came from. Because I actually wrote a story, a fanfic, a few years ago all about the origin of Thrax. And a big part of it had to do with, like, these... Uh, Religious Shaman Tango Warriors. So that's interesting. Anyway, then there's also, uh, let's see, the Tangas are using a giant pentagram to summon Dark Spectre. Oh, through Rita. That's one of the weird things. Dark Spectre, because of grid energy in the, the Power Rangers universe, uh, he can't come through in his own body. He needs a vessel. And for whatever reason, Rita is the perfect vessel that they need to get Dark Spectre through. Okay, sure, why not? Anyway, uh, let's see. Phantom Ranger shows up to save Rita and her mother, stop the Tangas from using Rita. The invisibility effect here is really cool, and I like it. Anyway, he fights off the Tangas, and one of the Tangas, the uh, Shaman Master or whatever, he uses like a magic egg to hulk out and uh, get really buff. It's really bizarre, and also a magic egg is in my story about Thrax, huh? Isn't that interesting? Oh, and then there's a weird kind of 
I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it. Is it a tonal flip-flop where a uh, Phantom Ranger sneaks up behind the Tangas and goes boo? I don't know. The rest of this comic took itself so seriously. That was just kind of bizarre and didn't really fit his character. Like, he's not a jokey, goofy guy anywhere. Even in the old show, in Turbo and in Space, he wasn't like a goofy, jokester type of character. And uh, so anyway, he's fighting off the Tangas. Uh, let's see. He saves Rita and her mom. They get to his spaceship. He take. Oh, yeah, yeah. Then the mother comes back, rescues Phantom Ranger, takes him back to the ship, uh, and she takes him somewhere. She's trying to save his life, and he's not particularly grateful for it. Like, he wanted to die on this planet for whatever reason. Maybe. Or he was prepared to die. Something. I don't know. Anyway. Let's see. She taps into the Morphin Grid to save Phantom Ranger, and uh, little Rita tells him about, or she tells him a story, and in the story is vaguely implied uh, what happened to her father, Eldon. And, let's see, Master Vile took Eldon away, and then this is elaborated on a little bit later where, um, let's see, uh, Fienna, Rita's mother, tells Phantom Ranger about how, I'm trying to keep all this straight here, um, oh yeah, her and Eldon, Rita's father, they found a way they could look into this thing called the Master Forge, which is this old structure that the Morphin Masters built to use the, to harness the Morphin Grid energy or something. And her and Eldon looked into it, and they could see their, at the time, unborn child Rita. And while Fienna saw her as the Mystic Mother, like what we'd see in the end of Mystic Force, her father saw evil Rita, Rita Repulsa, from Mighty Morphin, and for whatever reason, that made Dark Spectre take over his body, or control him, or something, and turn him into Master Vile, it's implied. It, I... okay. So I'm wondering, like, was he really that good of a guy to begin with, like, if... Like, Fienna saw good Rita, he saw evil Rita, and was like, yeah, we gotta get this going. I'm gonna summon Dark Spectre, and he's gonna help this along. So, yeah, I'm not sure if he's really all that good of a guy, is he? <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see. So he becomes Master Vile, it's implied. Like, it's really weird. When I first read this, I... I don't know the, the main comics, so is that the story that Eldon becomes Master Vile? Is it made more clear there? Because in here, it's just implied, like really vaguely. When Rita tells a story to Phantom Ranger, her part of the story about her father is Master Vile took her father away. In here, all we see is we see Eldon on one side, Master Vile on the other, and in the text it says uh, Dark Spectre and his Acolytes. And I see... Uh, Master Vile there, and I just assumed, oh, so he's one of his acolytes, along with Eldon. But, no, Eldon is Master Vile. I guess. I... Okay, then. Whatever. Anyway, there's a part where uh, Rita's mother, Fiona, she's talking to Phantom Ranger about uh, his odd body. When he was wounded and she was trying to heal him, she realized his body itself is made of grid energy. So, that's like the one major thing we learn about Phantom Ranger in this comic, and it's not really that... Uh, <laughs> okay, well, we can finally shut up the rumors about it's Billy, or it's Jason, because no, it's not Billy or Jason, He's he predates all of them. I like the uh, the original idea that they had that didn't actually make it into the show, that he was made up of, like, uh, fallen rangers of the past or something. Like, all those rangers that, uh, uh, the, the legendary new powers in Super Mega Force that in the comics they've kind of sort of elaborated on a little bit, gone deeper into that they were, uh, rangers who died off Earth or something or other. That he's, like, their energy. I like that explanation the best anyway. Uh... The bad guys attack the space... Oh, yeah, there's another thing. Uh, uh, he talks about the Morphin Masters built the Master Forge, and the... Uh, he doesn't know exactly who they were, the way he talks. 
and uh, let's see, Fiona asks him about how he knows this, and he's like, it's a long story, and we're not going to get that in this comic that's supposedly supposed to be about the Phantom Ranger. Anyway, the bad guys attack Master Forge, and Fiona now knows that uh, Rita is going is going to be used as the vessel to bring Dark Spectre through, and the reason Dark Spectre can't come through himself is because of grid energy in this universe, so she uses the Master Forge to fuse Rita with grid energy. So then, uh, let's see, Fiona dies, Vile takes the form of Elden and appears to Rita, pretending to be her father. She goes over to him, he hugs her, and then is like, no, she's been ruined or something. She has grid energy and she can't be used. And so then, uh, let's see, he's gonna like leave her there, but then he's like, no. And he tells the Tangas the, to take her with him and I guess Razor to be evil, similar to Astronema. And then we have, let's see, he blows up the Master Forge, he leaves. Phantom Ranger tells Zordon that Dark Spectre has crossed over into our dimension without Rita. I guess. He goes back to the pentagram thing the Tangas drew, and we see these spikes coming up that resemble the spikes of Malagor with uh, the glow in the cracks, and, uh, okay. I'm wondering, like, what was, so did he need the vessel or not, or, or like his dark, Sp or did they find like a Malagor monster somewhere, and that's why Dark Spectre looks like Malagor? That'd actually be kind of a clever little thing. So anyway, this comic, it's fine. If you like the other Power Ranger comics, uh, yeah, you'd probably enjoy this. If you're a fan of the show, give this a look-see. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't. Maybe you'll be really confused like I was, because I don't read the main comics. I'll read the spin-offs and specials, but I, I just don't really care about the main comic. Now, I was really kind of disappointed that this was hyped up to be the Phantom Rangers story, but it really isn't. It's Rita's mother's story for the most part. I'm wondering why they didn't hype up Rita's mother. She's not even on the cover. Or, like, Rita. Why didn't they hype up that this was, like, a little peek into Rita's background? But, anyway, in the end, it's still a fun comic. It, yeah. Also, I'm really hoping they, if they keep going with these Unlimited, they fix the numbering system. Because it's so freaking stupid to have number one and then another number one. Like, yeah, I know, the subtitle is there at the bottom, but come on, that's stupid. They're, if you, they wanted to have these be one-shots, have them be called, like, the story of Astronema and the story of the Phantom Ranger. Or, if they wanted to be accurate about it, call it the story of Rita's mother, Fiona. So, yeah, it's fine. I, the little things <laughs> bug me about it, but yeah, it's fine. It's, it's really good. I mean, uh, I look at this, and, like, I'm just glad that we're slowly getting more elements that aren't just Mighty Morphin stuff. Like, if this was made a few years ago, I'm guessing that there wouldn't be any, like, there wouldn't be any Phantom Ranger, no Dark Spectre, the Tangas would probably be Putties, <laughs> Master Vile probably wouldn't be Master Vile, he'd be some other character from early Mighty Morphin. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I am happy that we are, like, very gradually getting more elements instead of just Mighty Morphin. Like, the Mighty Morphin thing, that's the main comic that's going on. It's what even people outside the main fan base know if they're reading the comics. It's what the general public supposedly knows the best. But yeah, I'm hoping that this will lead to to more things. And also that Pyranger Sins of the Future comic from a while ago, that was really good, and I'm hoping for more stuff like that. So I'm happy to support these as long as they're going outside of Mighty Morphin and we get to explore more of the universe because there is a greater universe outside of Mighty Morphin that Power Rangers has to explore. That's all for this one. See ya.